Why, hello! Um, we're making a really pretty dress today, and we're doing this because when I saw the commercial for the Amazon's new Cinderella movie, I kind of fell in love. Like, the dresses, the tool, the sequins, it's just, it's something I felt like I needed in my life. Now, I don't want to be Cinderella. I'm not trying to, like, recreate a dress from the movie. I mostly just wanted a dress that I could wear and, like, be an extra and not really stand out. And I think, I think we got that pretty decently. So, let's just get on with the video. And this, my friends, is where we hit a knowledge gap between how I know things work and how I assume things work. So let's get um, a little experimental, shall we? Shall we? I'm gonna lose my mind by the end of this, I swear. Okay, so I have all of this that is ruched. It's really fluffy, but I think a good press will, like, do what I want, right? Um, I need to baste this to the actual dress pieces with, like, all of the, like, everything in place how I want it. And I'll probably, like, run running stitches through it and all that to, like, make clean it up and make it look nice. I thought I'd be able to do this in a week, but I'm not going to. I guess it'll get done when it gets done. This'll, this'll be a project. I think I got all four pieces on. The next step is going to be to baste the tool in place over the layers, and then I don't know if I'm going to baste the ruching down. Okay, so let's have a chat, because we need a chat. The um, bodice is pretty much done at this point, but I have very minimal footage of it because it was really repetitive and really tedious, and it just didn't get filmed. So it also required a lot of swearing, and that's not something I'm going to put on YouTube. But that is done. It means we are moving on to the skirt, which I'm excited about. I have all of the tool cut out. I have the base layers cut out. It should, should be a really pretty dress when I'm done with it. But now I've got to sew all of the skirt layers together and then I need to baste everything together and then we'll go from there. A bunch of circles um, and they're all set with a pin because these are four layers and four layers will make a flower I don't know how many flowers I have 
I'm gonna figure that out as I go but I am making all of the flowers because I couldn't find something that would get here in time so that's my task for today to make all the flowers because I don't want to do any real sewing so we'll do mindless tasks I am now seriously considering changing the direction I was going to go for this gown. And I don't know how I feel about that. So let's talk, okay? Originally I was going to do flowers like this and just like bead the centers and they'd be cute, right? Well, in my effort to batch sew, I'm coming up with this like wisteria looking thing. And now I'm wondering if I order a like pastel purple and pastel blue and just make this a wisteria gown. I really was going for monotone. I really was. But now I don't know. So I'm going to have to give it a think. I will come back probably on Monday. It's been a week. This gown is taking forever. Okay. So I took the weekend to think on it. And decisions have been made. I'm not putting flowers on this dress. We're just going to go. Um, I still plan on beading part of it. Let's just see what happens. I am going to mostly focus on getting all of the construction on this dress done. I think if I really push, I might be able to do that today. I'm going to need to do sleeves. I just want like a two inch little cap sleeve here just so I feel more comfortable wearing it because I don't like sleeveless garments. Um, I need to attach the skirt to the bodice. I'm probably going to have to take the waist down a little bit because I don't think that this waist measurement matches the waist measurement of the bodice. That's an easy fix. It took a while for a battery to charge and I've gotten some work done. So let me show you what I got done. Isn't it looking great? Oh, I'm obsessed. So I got the itty bitty baby sleeves on, which are going to be perfect. They don't really add anything, but they don't detract either. Um, and then I've got the waist seam sewn. So I still need to do the zipper and the hem. I'm thinking I'm going to do the hem with some like half inch horsehair braid just to like give it a little bit of structure. And I need to go get a zipper, but I also want to bead this dress because I've decided no flowers, only beads. So I thought I would take you guys on my adventure, going to get a zipper and some beads. And yeah, let's go have some fun at the store. little quick thing because when I get home I'm just gonna want to start working. I got two things of beads. I really wanted a variety just so that way like I could randomly select the beads and they would just look nice and have some variety on that bodice and a little bit into the skirt. I got two things. I don't know if two things will be enough. I have some other beads and things at home that I plan on mixing in. Like I'm probably just gonna put it all into a giant bowl and mix it up and just see how it goes. <laughs> So, yeah, that's it for the beading. I got a matching zipper. I got some other things for a couple other projects that I'm hoping on at least starting this week, if not getting done. So, let's go home, finish the construction on this dress. Um, I don't think I'm going to sew in the lining yet, because I don't want to accidentally catch the lining while I'm sewing the beads on the bodice. Yeah, that'll be the last, last step. I do need to put the hem on the skirt, so I'll sew in the zipper, put the hem on the skirt, then we'll start beading. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Okay, so yesterday I got everything except for the lining on the dress done. 
So yay me, yay. Uh, that zipper was an adventure. Okay, so I also started beating the bodice last night. And so I'm hoping that I can get the bodice completely beaded and then I'll have enough beads to like take it into the skirt. If I don't have enough beads to do that, I'm really tempted to just like go and buy more because I want beads on the skirt. The skirt's not gonna be fully beaded, it's just gonna kinda like fade into the skirt, which I'm super excited about. Okay, let me show you the beads. Look at this. So it kind of um, reminds me of sprinkles. So I was originally just like, oh, well, this dress will just be like flowers and pretty and like whatever. That's like my normal thing. But I'm kind of loving this like frosting and sprinkle aesthetic that's going on. And um, we're just going to continue on with that today. So I'm probably going to, I'm going to start with binge watching a show. And if that doesn't hold up, hold my attention, I'm going to switch to an audiobook. Oh, I should see if that's available. Okay, we're going to listen to an audiobook. That way I can just escape into a fantasy world. The book I listened to wasn't available, so um, we're just going to watch some Downton Abbey. It's good enough, I guess. I goofed yesterday and while beating and now I get to spend an hour or so fixing it. Let me tell you how happy I am about that. No, not happy. Not happy at all. I had to get more beads and the closest thing they had to the variety pack that I got also included these darker bugle beads which are not the same as the bugle beads I had but I put some on anyway and I hate how it looks. So now I have to take off the darker bugle beads, but also reinforce all the beads around the bugle beads because of how I stitch things on, and then like replace them. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a while, and I kinda hate life right now. So I will come back when I have something else to report. The beading took absolutely forever. I, um, did it when I had time and when I had the patience and I don't have any more footage of making this dress for you but really realistically it was just sewing in the lining that's not entertaining so without further ado let's just show you these pictures really like this dress. I'm super happy with how it came out and I'm just oh, so excited to have it in my wardrobe. I will see you guys on Monday for a new video. Bye friends!